as tunaweza migori through ELF, we've had this training on social accountability, gender responsive budgeting, and climate mitigation. Having at the back of our minds, Nyatike, one of the sub in Migori, was adversely affected with the previous flood. So it is upon us young people to come together, have innovative, sustainable solutions towards ensuring that uh, we respond to uh, the climate change, but my colleagues have also mentioned issues of social accountability and gender responsive budgeting. That how as we as young people are we able to track our resources, the resources allocation, to ensure that they are being prudently managed and service delivery gets to the young people who are uh, the majority in the county. Uh, <coughs> in the nation right now we are having it, a lot of strategies to ensure that a lot of revenue is collected uh, it, in terms of taxes, in terms of other measures. So it is also a responsibility to ensure that the taxes we pay are prudently managed and that the resources and the programs that are put in place are responsive to the needs of young people and the entire population of the young people like they have mentioned the female the male and all the populations that we have so our county also has faced challenges in terms of uh, uh, information management access to information so we've been having a, a workshop on matters gender responsive budgeting social accountability and good governance as well as climate change adaptation mitigation and uh, governance so what has come out clearly from the workshop is that we as young people we are starting to move from noise to voice and all that we've got from the workshop as young people from migori county we are going to implement especially on matters climate change mitigation adaptation and governance there's a lot that needs to be done so the discussion we've had we are going to cascade it to our fellow young people from Migori County and ensure that we have an action plan on uh, working towards achieving climate justice. We are the conveners and principal facilitators of this workshop that has been happening here in Migori and we are running similar workshop in seven other counties across the country and this is in recognition of uh, the importance of devolution, the difference that it can make and continues to make in multiple counties, but we still uh, hold that more remains to be done. It is our observation that uh, the more that is to be done and even the little that has been done has been because of the tremendous input and effort of young people in the different counties. And so we bring our investment into the young people and ask that they take a central role and in fact a leading role in every process of devolution uh, at the very various uh, counties, uh, sub-counties and even the wards and the communities that they live in. And that we do by empowering them, equipping them with the skills, the tips and tools that they need as individuals, uh, youth advocates and also as uh, youth serving organizations that exist within the different communities including Migori County. So, uh, all the projects that we implement are driven by data and they're implemented in different counties and so we choose the county depending on different matrices. Migori County for instance uh, is keen to us and uh, very key to us because because of, if you look uh, statistically, since the uh, Constitution 2010, the involvement of young people, even those who are seeking elect elective positions and even those who are being appointed to different roles at the county level has been very low. And that's why we come in to say, because the argument and the, the argument from the duty bearers on the other end has always been, we can't see the young people to involve, we can't see the young people to bring to the table. And so our role is to, to show them that Migori County, like other counties, have enough young people who know what needs to be done and are able to do what needs to be done.